Hi guys, I'm back. And before we move on with the painting for today, I wanted to show you um, the finished, dried, cured Halloween piece. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> some of it definitely did go off this direction. Um, and it was a lot worse before I came back later on with the blower and kind of blew some more back in and turned the tile around. Um, I definitely have to before I, for the canvases, it's easy to fix um, the leveling. I just, you know, my pins that are stuck in the bottom, I just kind of pull one or two of them out a little bit and then check it with the level. I, for some dumb reason, I never remember to make sure my tiles are level. So every single time that end of the table is apparently lower than this end of the table. So my resin, especially with the stone coat, resin um, because it takes so long to cure it slowly migrates this way so um, and it'll do that for like at least two to three hours so you really have to watch it um, but I'm gonna take you outside even though it's raining outside I'm gonna take you outside so you can see the prettiness of this tile because even though it kind of poured off actually when I went back and looked at the the video of it I actually like it better now because it's more creamy and you know spacey Okay, let's go outside with it. Okay, so here we are outside. You can see how shiny the resin coat is. It's beautiful. And I didn't get any bugs in it. Woohoo! I don't think the bugs like the smell of the resin. Um, I've heard other people say that this doesn't have any odor to it at all, but for me, it, it does. I mean, it's not nearly as bad as other resins, but um, it, there is a slight odor to it, so just be aware of that. And wear your respirator, you know, whenever you're using it. But look at the glitter. You can really see the glitter in there. You can see the or limey green glitter up here and, it, and then the orange green. Um, but yeah, I mean, it turned out, I think it turned out really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to show you the other tile that I did. Sorry, that's my truck tire in the background because I don't want to go walk out in the rain just to stand near the grass for a pretty background. Okay, now this is a tile that I did. Um, you can see it has several different kinds of paint on the back of it. It has black first, and then over top of that was some green and blue and lime green and turquoise. And then I did uh, another resin coat over it um, with just some stripies because I had some leftover resin, but it turned out, you know, not interesting so this is now the fourth pour over you can kind of see the the lumpiness of the edges which i kind of like because it's two separate layers of thickened resin because this was just the leftover resin so it had started to cure so it was a lot thicker so i i really like the lumpiness on the sides but um this was just leftover you can kind of see under here right along there and then right through there um, up here in this top corner over there in that corner you can really see the underside colors and then the Halloween colors poured on top of it and the funny thing is I think everybody that's seen this tile likes it better than the galaxy <laughs> but um, you know I think partly it's because of the, the bright colors but one other thing I really like about it let's see if I can show you you see how it's kind of lumpy I really love the lumpiness of it it looks cool so um, because I worked on this one so many different times and uh, you know really it's not qual it's not of quality to sell I love this one so I think I'm gonna keep this one um, unless somebody wants to offer me a million dollars for it I'll be glad to sell it to you <laughs> okay so let's go back inside and uh, work on the next painting all right so you can see I have a pretty mix of different paints today um, we're gonna use predominantly artist loft and then one Amsterdam acrylic just because I like this color with the rest of them and uh, I don't think I have one of these um, in the artist loft I don't think but anyway um, so we're gonna use the artist loft phthalo blue turquoise silver metallic phthalo green and then I'm gonna mix the iridescent medium artist loft with the flow acrylic and I did already and you know I don't really see I think really the iridescent medium does really well when you just um, put it in resin. It's really pretty when you pour it over stuff, but 
unless you just have a tiny bit of this, it doesn't really do a lot of good. But I don't know, once it dries, maybe it'll at least give it a little iridescent shine. Um, and then we've got the Amsterdam. Uh, this one is... Uh, huh, turquoise green. Turquoise green. So, we're going to take these off, get these out of the way, and tell you what we're going to do today. Obviously, you can see I have just sewed over another uh, painting. The painting underneath was another attempt at the angel wing pour. Um, I am not having a lot of success with the angel wing pour, so I am determined, absolutely determined. I'm going to get it right, and then I am not going to do it <laughs> anymore. <laughs> um, I, I say that. And, but you know, if eventually I finally get it and it turns out cool, then I'll probably I might do some more. Um, but I, I really don't know at this point. Now, I got told uh, with um, the last one that I tried on video that I was doing it wrong, <laughs> which is cool. That's fine. Um, I'm all about constructive criticism. As long as you're nice to me, I invite it. Um, so. I went back and looked at the video that I had watched previously, and it turns out that this person had done it with three cups uh, instead of two, you know, all glued together. But then I started watching several other people do it, and I watched someone do it in just a like a measuring cup that had a pour lip, lip on it. So I thought, I don't have a plastic one. Um, I have a glass one, but you know I use that for cooking with, so I really don't want to put Floetrol into a glass dish that I, you know, use to cook with. So um, we're just going to use a plain cup. I'm going to layer it, and uh, I'm going to layer it like I saw her layering it in her measuring cup. I think we're going to just use this cup. This should be plenty big enough. Um, I think we're going to try and make a little lip on this. I'm going to try and heat up the edge of it just a little bit and kind of pinch it. That way it'll sort of have a lip to it. Okay. There's a little lip. That's like a pour spout. That'll work. Um, so I'm going to let that cool off a little bit. Alright, so there we go. We're going to try that. And uh, there is no silicone in any of these paints. They're, they're all just paint, Floetrol, and a little bit of chilled distilled water. Now, for some reason, this Amsterdam Acrylics paint always has a lot of air bubbles in it, as well as the metallics. I don't know why, but they seem to hold more air bubbles. So if you just kind of do this really quick, it'll pop a lot of those air bubbles. If you let your paint sit for a while, it'll also um, bring a lot of those air bubbles to the surface. So, but for some reason, this Amsterdam's Amsterdam acrylic paint tends to hold a lot of bubbles for me. Um, so we're not going to do this in any particular order, but I do want to have several layers. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out the order here real quick before we get started. And I think we're going to start off with the... Um, Halo blue, maybe. I don't know. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go from there. We're just going to. Alright, so we'll do Thalo blue, white, um, turquoise green, turquoise, silver, and then the Thalo green. And I'm going to pour it very lightly. Whoops. I think it's kind of thick. I don't, I'm hoping it's not going to be too thick. I've seen variations. I've seen some people use super thick paint. I've seen some people use super thin paint. So, um, and, and everything comes out interesting. Kind of just really slow so they don't mix. And, uh, hopefully I'll have enough of this left over for another video. I kind of want to do maybe like a, a tree ring or a marble rose pour on a maybe a six inch tile or a set of coasters. I don't know. It depends on how much paint I've got left. And 
and uh, I don't know. Like I said, I've seen a lot of people do this lately, so I don't really know who to give credit to because I'm just sort of taking what I've seen from lots of people and and trying out different methods. And I really hope this method is the one that works because I really don't want to keep doing this over and over again and failing at it. <laughs> I don't know how y'all are, but you know, but the last, since the last painting didn't work out so well, I'm hoping this one will. And I'm not including my little Halloween pour because even though a lot of that resin poured off, I still really love that little tile. And I've said it before, you guys know that I am not a big, uh, re uh, not a big glitter person, but for some reason on those tiles, my little galaxy tiles, I just love that resin. probably getting into enough paint here. I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to fill it too full and just, you know, have a lot of paint left over. I'm thinking that's probably... I'm not sure what paint I want to end with. Probably the phthalo blue, just because it's nice and dark. Alright, so that is a lot of paint. There should be plenty of paint. I'm trying to decide whether to pour it this way or pour it the other way. I don't remember, I don't think it really much matters. So, I feel like I need to put, well no, we're just going to do it this way. Okay, let's have some good luck here today. Y'all keep your fingers crossed. Let's go a little slower maybe. Kind of the paint is kind of like folding over itself. Oh, I should have started with white. I was not thinking. Oh, well, that's okay. Angel wings don't have to have a white center to them, right? Okay, there we are. Ooh, look at that. Not the most perfect set of angel wings, but I would say those are angel wings at the moment. Now, I hate to tell you guys this, but I will be pouring it off side to side. Um, so it won't be angel wings when we're done, I don't think. Because, you know, obviously I don't have any paint around here. Plus, I don't know, I think angel wings just on the, on the canvas with the empty space around it. To me, I don't care for that. I'm going to go ahead and pop the air bubbles, I think. But you can see how the air bubbles are going to cause what looks like cells, but they're not cells, they're just air bubbles. But they're, like I said, there's a lot of air bubbles in the metallics. I, I, I pretty much think you would really need to let these sit overnight, but I don't have that much patience. When I, when I, uh, you know, when I get my panel mixed up, I want to go with it. So, um, yeah, I think pretty cool so far. Um, pro maybe even need more paint. I don't know. I feel like I need to put some paint around here so it'll kind of stretch side to side. I really don't want to use too much paint. We'll put some white around the edges. I don't want to get too close to my pattern because I don't want to destroy the, the pattern by running the white over it. But like I said, this is probably just going to, you know, it's really meant to just sort of help the paint move more than anything. It's so pretty, like this section right through here is really pretty. Maybe I need to put a little more white paint down, I think. There we go. Let's spread that out a little bit too.
I hope y'all all had a fun Halloween. My kids got a boatload of candy. It was crazy. I've never seen them get so much candy before. And they had lots of fun. I think this was like their best Halloween yet. I think they're just the right age to go trick-or-treating where they don't get exhausted until the very end. And, you know, they looked so cute in their little costumes. And they actually got two nights of Halloween since they had, you know, the trunk or treat at school and then they had Halloween trick or treating. So, best Halloween ever. Move that out of the way. All right, that should make it, hopefully, make it a little happier so it'll move around a little more. And if not, you know, at least the the canvas is kind of covered in white paint. Okay. Yeah, it should be good. Oh, I about put that in my pork cup. Okay, let's see if we can do something with this. I don't want to move it too fast. I don't want it to run over the um whoa the silver. This is going to get completely distorted, unfortunately. But that's okay. It's still going to look cool and pretty, hopefully. But now you guys see I can do angel wings. They're not the best angel wings, that's for sure. But they still turned out pretty cool, I think. And yes, I know I'm warping it a bit. I'm sorry, guys. But it has to be done to get... It to move. Whoa. I like it when it grabs it and goes over the side and then it distorts the pattern. I like that. Which is really what I'm trying to get it to do now. Is kind of just go everywhere. Okay, just get it to go down a bit now. So we really, I want it, I'm going to take it off all four sides just so y'all know. <laughs> so don't scream at me. I like negative space sometimes, but I don't want negative space today. Bring it back some. Let's bring it off of this corner. There we go. Kind of debating that on whether or not to leave that white corner up there. Ooh, those lines are going all squiggly everywhere. I could just leave it like that. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to drag it off that corner. There we go. Let's bring it back a little bit. I think I'm going to leave it because I think I'm going to hang it, you know, like that way. So I'm going to pour a little more white off of these corners. Oh, pretty hands. But I don't want to put it over the painting. <laughs> it definitely needs to be hung, you know, like this is the top and this is the bottom. All right, guys, let me, um, let me wash this pan off my hands really super quick. I don't want to take a chance on dripping any of that green and blue on the white ends there. Oh. 
Some blue in there. Don't want that. I don't know if there's any battery left to it, but she can check it. Alright, so let's do this side. like when I'm hoping it's completely covered with paint. Really kind of need to shove it that way, tilt it that way just a little bit so some of it comes off, but I don't know if I want to do that. Um, no, I don't want to tilt it. It'll, it should settle though. All right, well, I think I like it. Um, I don't really like it this way. But if you turn it this way and, you know, this, like I said, this is the top, this is the bottom. I like it. So let's torch it one more time. And uh, that's going to be it on this baby. Oh, it is just loaded with air bubbles. And you see tons and tons of air bubbles popping. And it's probably from most, mostly from that metallic. So I'm going to go back over this again in a few minutes uh, to make sure that, because if you leave those air bubbles, they're going to pit your paint. And I really don't like that look. that for a few minutes and just kind of let that let the bubbles sort of come to the surface and I'll get y'all down so you can see okay sorry for the reflection but you can see a little bit of the detail a little closer it's not all that exciting I don't think but it's pretty And, you know, it's still kind of wings, I think. Some pretty detail. Um, you know, obviously it's not wings anymore. It still kind of is, but um, it's more of a waterfall now. Try and get you as far back as possible so you can see. That's about as far back as I can get. I'm like up close to the ceiling. So, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, I accidentally stuck my finger in the paint right there. So I had to try and fix it as best I could. Now I actually stuck, I dripped some paint up there and um, managed to fix it really well. So, that's the other painting you see here in this corner. That one I did later and actually... I didn't do a video on it, so I'm going to show that to you right now. Um, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. <laughs> I did a video on this one. Um, and what happened was uh, I worked with it and worked with it and worked with it. I was like two hours working with this. Like 9 o'clock at night, which I never paint that late. Um, usually I'm settled by then but I uh, worked on it and worked on it kept changing it and changing it and nothing was working so finally I just scraped off half the paint and did a sort of a marble rose pour um, but you know since the paint had had silicone in it at this point uh, 
it made a really cool pattern but I love that one so um, it took two hours to finally get get happy with it and it turned out to be a five minute pour so there's a lesson in there somewhere um, you know sometimes simple is better all right so this is where I'm gonna leave you um, I want to thank all my subscribers all my viewers everyone who leaves me lovely comments and sends me emails and contributes to my channel in any way that you do I hope wherever you are on the planet you're having an awesome afternoon day evening or night all right see you later bye